Hello, 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 hello. Thank you for tuning in to Top Bond TV. It's another episode of my life story. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, leave some comment, like, and share if possible. You know, just, you know, to spread the message so that people, so that to encourage somebody or to encourage people for them to know that life is not um, as stagnant as um, people see it to be. There's always hope, you know, at the end of the bridge. So the main thing is for us to cross the bridge and then it looks brighter at the, at the other side of the bridge. Um, thank you for always wasting your credit, your time, you know, uh, your internet to watch um, and then listen to what I have to tell you every day. The last time I spoke to you about my... Um, um, how I happened to win the American Lotto Visa and then um, also had admission to go to um, the training college. Um, like I said in the last video, which if you haven't watched, I will plead that you go back to watch so that you understand how the story is going. Um, in the last video, I ended with, you know, making a, a choice between two things, going to school and also um, traveling. Um, although I had already taken my entrance exams, I passed, I got admission into Fosu Training College. Um, all I was left was to pay my um, admission fee. So I was very close, very, very close to um, starting school. And then one good day, um, a man called me and then he's like, hey, you won the ladder. Um, so I would need, I would need you to meet me at a place so that we talk about it and I tell you the steps in how to actually go about it. So yes, I met this man and then we spoke about it. Um, he showed me what and what I have to do and you know, how the process is going to go and a whole lot of things. Um, it sounded a bit, you know, fishy to me because I, at that time I didn't know much about it. Um, I thought probably, you know, he might be a scammer or something. Um, when I met this man, the first thing I asked myself is, if you are able to help people go or travel, why are you still in Ghana, you know? So sometimes um, it's okay to give yourself a chance, be flexible in life, you know? Don't be so straight. Don't be so hard on yourself. Some things may, uh, some blessings, you know, come in disguise. Um, they, they might seem like a scam or something, but you know, just be vigilant and then just be, don't be too hard on yourself. You never know. Maybe it's your opportunity. To me, it was my opportunity and I took it. So we started the process and then, oh, it took, it took a while for a very long time. Um, it took almost like, a, you know, a year or so because, you know, it was a back and forth, you know, getting police reports and, you know, it's, it's a whole lot, a whole lot. But thank God, everything went on smoothly, and then I happened to um, come to the U.S. Now, before you come, people give you some stories. I was told, particularly, that you have your own car, you have your own house, um, furnished, and all of that. It's not true. Oba, you start afresh. Life, maybe I will do again, maybe I will start from the scratch. The only people I mean who say um, what a bit of um, advantage when they come here, nurses with a degree in Ghana. So over oh, well, um to say um okay, nursing it is a community nursing, you know, so I to say that be and oba you still have to start from the scratch. But nurses with a degree in you know, oba you don't start start from the scratch, you actually um, have to take the state board exams into so oh, passia, then what? Then you start practicing as a nurse. You can't even practice straight away when you come here. With your degree you have to take the state board to certify you to actually be able to work as a nurse over here so oh again and i said we'll take it to say accounting you know got a friends and politics inside in here it doesn't really work over here so far that's what i know you have to start life afresh so yes i happen to be here and then one thing that i need you to know is before you come here you have to know somebody to live with if you don't have nobody here, then that disqualifies you from, you know, actually um, processing your uh, your visa. So, yes, you have to know somebody. Thank God, I didn't actually know nobody, but a friend's uncle over here took me in 
as a family member. This man, Mr. Isaac Nelson, was just the best. I knew him from nowhere, but he made it look like we, we, we knew each other. He took me in, gave me food, bought me clothes, even my first phone to use. He bought it for me, and this is what he told me. Oh, dear, do we use it in the meantime? No, yes, can I know how to papa? Meanwhile, that phone he bought for me was great, I had nothing to say about it, but he, he thought it was so low. And then, Mr. T, then I can buy a better one. But I was so grateful, um, for what he, what he has done and what he did in my life. Um, I, I, I had to stay with him for like you know a year or, or so. Um, it wasn't easy, you know, being with somebody you don't know and all of that. And then, you know, sometimes say that Abrabona, you know, you can't even trust people to 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 take them in to live with you. You can't trust people. So sometimes people don't want to even do this. But this man took it upon himself and then took me in. Um, I'm always grateful. Yes, see, a real So be to be animal one day po. Why yet? Why yet? Why yet? Enough. And that person, you can be ungrateful to to that person. And um, on one day, any two days, for a very long time. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Me name the main confound Mr. Isaac Nelson. I say thank you so much. Um, so now coming to America, this is my life. When I got here, I had to start from the scratch. Everything. Um, somebody that used to be a pupil teacher, you know, um, telling people what to do and all of that. Um, now I had to like go through the whole process. So I started with going to um, this school for for a month. Now the school is home, uh, home health aid, right? The home health aid is more like you know you go to the patient house or the resident's house, and then you help them do what they cannot do. Um, some of them need a company, so you go there and then you be watching TV and then be talking to them until your time is over, and then you go. One thing that I came to realize that Ghana say because time is money, we don't really understand because you know Sikaneba every month, but over here hourly, you know, you know how much you are getting so you can't even miss an hour or so you have to be running to work and all of that yes so um i started being a home health aide uh you know going to people's homes helping them with what they cannot do some of them you have to even cook for them you know some of them you have to like you go home you take them um to the park then you bring them back home um it was a bit of a struggle, you know. And then maybe oh man, me work gun. I never thought I could have done. But I have to do it because man had to survive. Okay? Don't forget that I'm the only I was the only person over here at the time. I didn't have no cousin, I didn't have no sister, no mother, nothing. I had nobody over here. So I had to I had to I had to actually um pass through it. So it worked out. And then from being a home health aide, I moved up to being a CNA, that's certified nursing assistant. I don't know if you don't say or say no, we not or you know, eh, obit your cure on the interview be or say no yeah, a certified nursing assistant. So I moved from there to certified nursing assistant while I was going to school. So going to school was a bit of a hassle. You have to work I have to, I had to work and also go to school. And, you know, you know, one thing about school in America, you know, you have to take your prerequisites before you can start the main program. And to, let's say you want to be a nurse, right? So to be a nurse, you have to take your prerequisite, you know, like that's like a requirement to actually start the nursing program. Now, starting the uh, requirement, you know, usually it takes like two years to finish the requirement. But if you are working and also going to school, then it's going to take a while. So it took me, you know, a couple of years. Um, as the saying goes, um, delay is not denial. And then, you know, um, okay, slower. It doesn't mean say won't do. Obi be kofa, so be kofa slow. But then, you know, you all have the same destination. So yes, I started as that, um, going to school, taking my time, taking my um, requirement, my um, prerequisite, until I finished. Now, when I finished the prerequisite for me to start the nursing program, I paused and I did something. I actually joined the United States Navy. I had to join the Navy 
you know, kind of like um, uh, plan B, you know, say the better um, along the line, you know, if maybe I'm in nursing school, nurse me feel like being a nurse in the Navy, then I'll just switch over um, into the Navy. So I went for basic training. Uh, it, uh, it was a bit of a hassle. But before even basic training, the difference between American military and Ghana military, you know, with here, you know, it's a bit easier to go. Uh, over here, you can you just have to take the um, exams, you pass, and then you start processing. And then before you know, you go to basic training, and then um, that's it. You are there. Unlike Ghana now, you have to pay as uh, so a bribe. Some people know. Say most people have to bribe and sign a form, especially military over Ghana. Any all these, you know, service uh, personnel, service um, jobs never Ghana. No. Most of the, you have to know somebody and all that. But it's never like that over here. All you need to do is what to pass your exams, and then you, they start processing you, and then they ship you out. So I joined the navy, and then I became. I'm now a navy personnel. Um, when I came back from training, then I started going to school. I started a nursing program. With the nursing program, it took me another like. Um, two and a half years so think about it for you know like within like eight nine years i've been going to school eight nine years i've been going to school remember in ghana between four years you're already done and you are actually working but life is a bit different over here there's a bit of a delay and then i say one one more we need and that then you might lose focus now i say nah i give up now nah, um, um you do whatever that you want to do but um, thank God I didn't give up. I, pers I, I, I had to persevere until I got to my destination. Now, I am in the, in the Navy and also a nurse. I graduated and I'm practicing as a nurse. You know, sometimes in life, people, they don't want to see you grow or actually, you know, get to the top. Into oh, wow, you know, it happened to me a lot, a lot. On the way, but trust me, me no be a me my dear hammy. So I believe say so. Oh no, be a my dear hawa. You will move far. You will move very far. You know, people will try. You know, life journey you no know, any straight. You know, a chia chia. But it's up to you to to persevere. You know, push through it to achieve what you really need to achieve. There are so many people here who are more hmm? Ghanaian born Americans. Any omo amu ya me omo amu di omu kro nu kro ano, they are they are homeless. Omo inya be bikro no matter just because omo am to try bra boni ye. But you know I came as a as a as a first generation in my family, and then um think about it um you know with focus everything worked out perfect. So um like I tell you every day life 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 hasn't been easy in the start, but as time went on and then with perseverance and then pushing through see where i am now i'll be honest with you my life isn't at the top but i think i'm so comfortable at this time uh, i'm telling you this to, to to actually motivate somebody for you to know that what situation that you are in is not permanent it's up to you to make changes in your life life is like soup okay however you want your soup to be that's how it comes out if you want to make fish soup it comes out as what well, fish soup. So open say in China in trim kind of person when spicy, you know, you want to add more pepper. Guess what? Makobe tremu and then that's so it's it's up to you to uh make your life um a, 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 you know attractive. Let me put it that way, attractive. So why one 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 make you one, one try to straighten your life, one try to make your life attractive, and nobody will do it for you. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, we weren't born on a silver platter, no? Yeah, 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 we yeah, see your friends and uh, uh, people also know. Now we have to start from Amunemu to bring our heads up and then keep climbing and then climbing and climbing, you know. Um, you can't actually give up, you know. And then, and this is all my idea how to be brave. My idea how me in can give you up. See, see, I will tell you, somebody will look at me one day. Even now, some people look at me and then they get like, how did you even do it? That's the question they ask. How did you do it as an individual with no family member here? But guess what? I did. Next week, uh, or anytime that I post a video, I'll show you all the IDs, people, the agencies that I've worked with so far 
until I became a nurse. It's been a really tough journey. I'll give you one of my experiences that I met on my first day at on a job. My first day on a job. I had I happened to be with a with with, with this client and this client was like uh, like four hundred pounds. You know, was some bubu on stroke a chin kakra. The only place that works, the only part of the body that works was Nano and Utimi Didi. You know? But say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, guess what? And then, as you know, little that I am, now I had to like change such a person. How do you feel about that? I mean, what me crow man, I say, me clean you, be down. But it happened. Listen, I will be buying so you have to survive. I did a year or a year, who could do her pay But Nina, what did I do? It, it, it actually motivated me to know I have to keep pushing. I can't do this forever. I have to push through it. Until now, I am a nurse and also in the Navy. I think this probably has motivated somebody. Um, know that life is never stagnant as you, as people see it. Or as people will tell you that oh well yeah yeah you may die. don't let people bring you down push yourself a one one kind of way say the person kind of yeah then put in the effort and then the soup will come out good okay I will end here and then next week we will we will actually talk about something else something entirely different we will actually tackle the American ladder visa how it works the processes you have to go through and you know um what you have to do when you apply i'll take you in depth of how the american lado visa works until then i'll say take very good care of you of yourself covid 19 is real wear your mask social distancing be, be, be safe to you i mean try to stay safe you put on the mask guess what it protects you and it protects others Wear your mask, protect yourself, and protect others. Until then, God bless you.